Hey everybody, Jeremy here from Blockchain WTF, and today I'm making this video because I had a crypto catastrophe. Well, I should say I had a potential crypto catastrophe that was avoided through responsible wallet practices. And with that, this potential major issue became nothing more than a minor inconvenience. So to give you some background, earlier this week I had an issue with my phone, which also has my Jax wallet and a significant enough amount of crypto on it. Because of a software malfunction, I had to restore my phone, completely wiping it of my cryptocurrency, Jax, and also my awesome memes to add insult to injury. Now, this would be the point where, in time where most people freak out. However, like everyone should, I had backed up my wallet. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that on three different wallets. And the first one we're going to start with is Jax. Jax makes it really, really easy to back up your wallet and to restore your wallet in case something happens to your device that the wallet is on. So if you recall, when you installed Jax, you were asked to write down a 12 word seed phrase and then enter that in again. Now here's the key part. A lot of people will just confirm that 12 word phrase and discard it, which is the worst thing that you can do. It's a vital mistake that could end up losing you all of your crypto on that wallet. So what Jax does, what they advise, and what I advise as well, is write down that 12 word seed phrase. Because if uh, the device that your wallet is on is damaged, all you have to do is write in that seed phrase on a restore option when you reinstall the Jax wallet, and all your funds are right there. So that's why I wasn't panicking. I knew I had my seed phrase, and I knew that by reinstalling Jax, entering that seed phrase in, I can restore, I could restore my wallet. And spoiler alert, that's exactly what happened. So if you did discard your seed phrase, all you have to do, if you still have access to that wallet, simple. Go to the option menu, tools, backup wallet, easy enough, and view backup phrase. I'm not going to do that because that would allow somebody to potentially steal my funds by restoring my wallet. However, just uh, click on that, select that option, and you'll be able to see your 12 word backup phrase. Write that down, keep it in a safe place, a uh, place where, that you know it's not gonna be tampered with, that nobody can find it. I've told people safety deposit boxes, if you aren't willing to trust the institution that is a bank, uh, bury it 12 feet deep in your yard, just keep it in a very, very safe place that only you know where it is. It could be the difference between losing all your crypto and recovering it. So secondly, I'm gonna show you how to back up your ARC wallet. And ARC actually kind of works the same as Jax. They have a seed phrase. However, they also have alternate ways to back up the account as well. Um, over on the, over here, you can see a export account option that basically is going to Download a file that has all the information of your ARC wallet and allow you to keep it, make a backup of it, and let's say you need to restore it. On the original page, there's an option just to uh, import a wallet. So you import that file, boom, all of your ARC is there, no problem. Also a second, kind of second line of defense that you have the option of using for ARC is you can select a second pass phrase. I'll show you this one because I don't have anything in this wallet, uh, but here you go. This is your seed phrase um, and another great way to restore your wallet. So again, same thing goes for the Jack seed phrase. Write this down, keep it in a very, very safe place. So the last wallet I'm gonna talk about and teach you how to back up is my ether wallet. So for this, for purposes of this video, I'm going to create a new wallet uh, that I'll use for you know, one-time use. All right, well, I should probably pick a strong enough password, so we'll accept it. There we go. The first thing it prompts you to do, and this is actually how I access my Ether wallet every time, download a key store file, which is a UTC or JSON file. And all that is, is just a file that's used essentially as a key, a password, that will unlock your wallet. So let's say I wanna go to view wallet info. I would select this option. And in my browser, I would open up uh, wherever my UTC file is. And just like that, I have access to my wallet. Now, this is also great. Um, use an online wallet, so you're never going to be in a situation where it gets destroyed, hopefully. Uh, so as long as you have 
any of these options, you can access your wallet. Uh, we already went over key store in JSON, uh, that file uh, that you can use as a password. Another way that I actually really like to use, and this might actually be the most secure way, and it's kind of counterintuitive because it's just pen to paper, but writing down your private key and keeping that in a safe place probably is the most secure way to make sure your wallet can be backed up in the event of something bad happening. So even if you use your, lose your key store or JSON, you can go into, I'm gonna open up my wallet here. Under downloads. That's the file I need to open up and it'll also ask me my password. And it will allow me to unlock my wallet. Uh, this is the private key that I am talking about. Um, all you have to do is hit this I right here. I'm not going to do that because, as you can see, I have money in this wallet. Uh, I don't want anyone else to have control of my private key. And a cool feature about my Ether wallet, nobody has control of your private key but you. You control your private keys. Mew doesn't have it. It's basically one of the most secure ways to keep your money, to keep your crypto safe. So if you did want to back up your wallet, uh, what I would do is just click on this eye right here and whatever uh, alphanumeric string of characters comes up write that down copy it down make sure that uh you have written it down correctly and then all you have to do is take that piece of paper and keep it in a, in a really really safe place offline uh where no one else knows about it and you'll be able to restore your crypto in case it's ever lost so to sum it up basically the best way to keep your crypto secure and to make sure that you can recover it in case of emergency isn't digital at all. It's really just pen to paper in different ways. Uh, writing down a seed phrase or a private key, as you see right here, all you have to do is keep that safe uh, in a place where only you know, only you have access to it, and you can restore your funds in case anything ever happens. If you have any questions about backing up your wallet, I know we only went over Mew, Jax, and Arc Wallet today. If you have any questions about other wallets, feel free to leave those in the comments. And also leave us a like if you enjoy this video so we get some feedback. Also subscribe uh, to get some awesome blockchain information whenever we come out with a new video. This has been Jeremy of Blockchain WTF, and I'll see you next time.